we created this partnership with the LA Zoo because the zoo needs a cicacia species to enhance the, the lives of the animals. And so the animals either play with it or eat it. Um, it just stimulates their mind. And so we, we're creating habitat in this area. And cicacia is an invasive species. And so what better way to get rid of it than to uh, you know, give it to the zoo, which is actually looking for it. And so this area in here is actually going to be uh, restored to what it once was. And so you can see remnants of the native plant still under that acacia. Acacia is slowly creeping over. And so we're, we're going to push back on that acacia. So that's all invasive, non-native species, huh? Yeah. Wow. You can see how it starts to take over. Yeah. It creates a... Uh, a monoculture is just trying to create one species there. As opposed to what's under, you got a diversity of native plant species. Well, we basically went to the conservancy in Palos Verdes and cut down some acacias, bundled them up, and tossed them in the truck and brought them over to the zoo. Um, I mean, the good thing is that, you know, it's an invasive, you know, brush. It looked like trees to me, but... Um, so it's great. They needed to clear it from natural habitat they're going to restore right now. So it's great. It's a win-win for everybody. The Conservancy was able to have some help clearing some of their, you know, invasive plants. And the zoo was able to get some of these plants for the zoo animals that they use and that they have to collect anyway. So um, it's a kind of win-win for everybody. What do you got back there? Oh, sea lion. <laughs> <laughs> well, no more. <laughs> you got it, man.